Hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I have no idea what just happened. Uh oh. Uh oh. We both had mishaps. <laughs> Oh, what is going on, YouTube? One LA Extra, I'm here. Oh, what am I doing today? Ah, I think I'm gonna go ride a Z900. Yeah, because, you know, why not? That's what all the cool kids do. <laughs> now, the uh, other YouTuber that's down here in Tucson, Crow, he is a gentleman that I let ride my Speciale the other time we went up Mount Lemon. Um, and at the time, I wasn't really feeling riding his bike because I wasn't in a good mental space. Uh, however, I am in a good spot now and am ready to take on his beast. Uh, for him, I also told him that if he's going to ride the Ducati, he's got to ride the Aprilia. And uh, of course, <laughs> when levied with that, uh, people get a little hesitant because of the bike, the cost, and what have you, but um, You know, I trust him as a rider He doesn't like to go crazy fast, so Yeah, it should be fun. We're, just, we're not going up the mountain. Uh, the mountain's a little crazy at the moment uh, But we're gonna go down this nice long road that is fun to hit every once in a while because it's just open and free and a good cruise and I'll kind of give you my impressions of the Z900. Oh, there he is. Tank top and all. You look, sun's out, guns out, huh? He's got the only spot of fucking shade there is. <laughs> Crow, Arizona. I knew I had it right. For some reason, I want to say like crone. I don't know why. People when see crow, they thinking about the bird. Yeah. But it's not, it's nothing to do with the bird. What does that have to do with? Well, because my name is Claudio. Right. But in Brazil, there's a few people that cannot speak Claudio. They say Claudio. Okay? Okay. But we have gender uh, words. Right. So with A is... Uh, Feminine. Female. Right. And O... Masculine. Uh, right. So Crow would be a female. Ah. And Crow would be male. Gotcha, okay. So you're a male bird, got it. No, <laughs> I got you. How the fuck do you... You wanna use it? Um, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I kicked my leg up so high, <laughs> didn't need to. Oh boy, this is comfy. Why do I keep getting bikes that are uncomfortable? Huh? Totally different. It's like, I rode a uh, half spike up the mountain and hopped on that on the way down. I felt so, like just, just that trip going up the mountain screwed me up to ride that on the way down. <laughs> ah, I saw the video. Yeah, I, I felt so weird. It's, it's amazing how short a time your body adapts to things. Yeah. This is gonna take some getting used to it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, listen to her purr. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Arizona's Z Z900. He is on my Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> see which beast he likes better. I'll tell you what, that is a comfy, comfy, smooth uh, acceleration right there. You know, like I said, when I when I rode half 520 Z800, like I get it, I get why people like these bikes. Uh, they're comfortable as all hell, they got plenty of performance. And 
they're good all around bikes I, I would like one eventually uh, and by naked I mean a Street Fighter V4 because I don't know, I just like it a lot. I feel like I need to shift up. Yeah, so uh, this is 2019 Z900. I don't know any of the power figures or anything. He didn't tell me. I didn't feel like looking them up. So you guys can do that. That's not bad. The uh, brake grab on, the, on this wasn't terrible. Oh God, I feel like I'm falling over. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, the funny thing when I ride other people's bikes is I am very respectful to them, uh, first and foremost, but at the same time, once I get a feel for the bike, which doesn't really take that overly long, I, uh, I'm going to rip on it a little bit. I'm going to give it the beans. I'm going to play with it a little more than what most pro people probably would right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so scary. <laughs> I don't know. I must have hit the off button. I don't know what the fuck happened. I really have no clue. I'm going to have to watch the video and see what what that was about. Because, whoops. <laughs> Hopefully my camera's on. I'll show that I am a dumbass sometimes. I, I had to have hit that with my thumb. You know, I, I think I actually demoed, I don't know if it was a 19, but it was definitely at least an 18. And I thought it was a smooth bike, but I, you know, I didn't get to play with it like this. Uh, I was in a group uh, for one of those demo days and I wasn't able to play with it to the extent I'll probably get to play with today. So I didn't really feel, you know, how things were. Uh, I have to say though that the bike leans in effortlessly it's very smooth it doesn't uh require a lot of muscling to get into the position that you want and compared to the 800 it's peppier uh, it's higher in the revs so it's got a little more grunt to it again that's you know a testament to an extra 100 cc's you know, whatever the power equate goes to maybe like 30 i don't know like i said i don't know the figures this thing but the suspension, not bad, it's plush. Uh, I'm not doing any crazy hard braking, so I can't tell you if the nose is gonna dive down under hard braking. Uh, it feels softish, so it might. Uh, but that's all the farther I can say about that. But it just comes in these turns and it's just flowing. It's just real nice and flowing, it's easy very easy bike to be comfortable on and feel comfortable on pretty right off pretty much right off the bat like he's coming from this and hopping on the aprilia <laughs> it's an easier bike than ducati to feel comfortable on but not like how this feels this bike feels great it's like a fucking champion with this thing Uh, we have to be careful in this spot because it is congested and there's usually a cop around the corner. Nope, just cars. But the only thing about naked bikes that always worries me is the lack of windscreen. And I know <clears throat> it's a silly thing to say because what does the windscreen do for my bike? Surprisingly, it does a lot. And compared to this, you got a lot of pressure, a lot of wind pressure in your chest. So to do like a top speed run would be pointless. You'd, you'd have to try to get into a tuck and just wouldn't really work. I will say though that I wish there's a little more real estate on the seat, meaning I can't scoot back anymore. So I'm not a fan of like, there's, there's plenty of room on the seat. Yes, I get it, but it's not, uh, it's not as much as I'm used to, especially on the sides. The seat's rather narrow, and if you, uh, you're a bigger person, <laughs> it might be a little narrow for your rear end. But the, but everything though, like the foot controls and all that, I know they're stock, which is good, so I can get a stock review, but you know, they're comfortable. They're, my knees aren't too far up. They're not super set back. 
but they're kind of aligned with with their hips so they're a little they're not quite relaxed but they're also not as aggressive as a bike like mine like i said it's a good all-around motorcycle right now well i can understand why he commented on the engine brake of the ducati because this actually he doesn't have that strong of engine braking which is a little surprising I figured it uh bite down a little bit harder but uh i swear the revs are what's freaking me out just the noise of them uh, cruising at this speed I feel like I need to go up a gear just for cruising well the good thing about being up in the revs is you get in the power band uh, pretty quickly so that is nice in six gear even it just kind of picks up and it's like I said it's very smooth and linear feeling it's quite nice on speed it takes a little while to get there though not bad but yeah you know it it's not uh intimidating power whatsoever it's so it comes on so easily it didn't like being it was flashing to me which is kind of weird at like 8,000 when the red line's like 10.5 so i'm not sure what that's about but hey whatever oh the hills here are so nice Man, I, I like I don't feel any of the bumps through this chassis at all, through the suspension. It's just that nice, that smooth, that soft. I like it a lot. And again, I I get it. I do get it. It's uh, I'm, I'm not snobbery on these types of bikes given what I ride. I get them. I get it. I like it. <laughs> it's a fun bike. It puts a smile on your face, you know? And that's that's what these things are meant for. Try not to fucking ride into swarms of bees because they're out now. Oh, it's hot. Transmission's smooth, you know? It's uh, unfortunate that there's no quick shifter or auto blipper, but there is uh, ABS. I'm very surprised at the brakes. Uh, the 800 had what I considered shit, absolute shit brakes. But this, this is a phenomenal brakes. Phenomenal brakes. Yeah. Uh, oh, Z06. What do you think, man? Uh, I mean, for me, between this one and the Ducati, I thought this one is 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 a little bit better. Yeah, it's easier. Yeah. And the sitting position for me, this one is much more comfortable. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's usually not something I hear. I don't know. It, I don't know. It's because of the, the the size of the tank, or I, I don't. I really don't know. But for me, the position is very nice. Okay. Smooth. Smooth, right? Very, very smooth. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm impressed with how smooth that thing is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when you go, I think above four thousand or five thousand RPM. Five thousand. So there's something about it. I saw it when it was going like five or six grand. It started to like flash at me. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you need to change the the gear. Why? The red line's ten five. Maybe maybe I can adjust that. Okay. But oh man, again, thank you to Crow, Arizona. My man, now we take his baby out and play with her a little bit. See what she's all about. I get the naked life. I have no problem with them. What am I, what am I own? But which one? I don't know. I just don't know yet. Well, what do you say about that bike? Yeah, it's smooth, it's comfortable. It is very quick. Downsides, uh, the lack of electronics on it, the technology that needs to be on it for 2019, only to have ABS is a bit lacking. It 
it doesn't have that type of power. <laughs> doesn't have holy shit ball power. And I like me some holy shit ball power. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a blast riding that 900. Always good to get out with people and just kind of, you know, get out of the house a little bit. Especially when they allow you to ride their bikes. <laughs> And it's always a wonderful trade-off. Birdie! Uh, yeah, I hope you all are staying safe, having fun in the, the many ways that you can. Try to enjoy life a little bit, that you can, and, you know, doing it to it, yo. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to end the video for today. Ugh. <sighs> I'm out! <laughs>
Cruise control. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. <laughs> the slowest race ever. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, damn. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah. 